Getting a photography business to multiple six figures. How would you like to make 100,000 a year as a photographer? What about 200,000 or 500,000? It might seem impossible, but once you get the basics down, it's only a matter of time until you're making multiple six figures. I'm gonna give you my four step plan to get you to that point. And there's a fifth one I'm gonna throw in at the end that's gonna allow you to do this year after year. So don't check out early, because this one's super important. It's showtime. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd, and I run a multi six figure boudoir studio in Silicon Valley, California. And I've been in the game 11 years, and I'm making real money, and I freaking love what I do, and I would love for you to do the same. So, my four step framework to building a multi six figure boudoir studio it's simple, but most people don't do it because you just have to stick with it. And as long as you stick with it, your success is inevitable. So, firstly, know your ideal client. Number two, charge what you're worth. Number three, develop a marketer's mindset. Number four, systematize and scale. And the fifth one, I'm gonna surprise you with that at the end. So point number one, know your ideal client. So you've probably heard this a thousand times before, but it's super important because if you don't get laser focused with this, none of the rest of it's gonna work, guaranteed. So who is your ideal client? It's not just women who want pictures. You need to get really, really clear on what they're gonna get out of this experience. So is this the busy working mom who hasn't put herself first in 20 years since having children? And she works all day and she comes home, takes care of the family, keeps the house clean. She facilitates everything in the household and she feels guilty doing these things for herself. And this is an opportunity for her to do it without the guilt, to have her own spa day where the day is just about her. She can unwind, not wear yoga pants and a mom bun, not be answering the phone, getting somebody snacks, not be cleaning up messes. She can just be herself, not an employee, not a mom, not a wife, just herself. That's one type of client. Or maybe they're recently divorced and they've been in an abusive relationship and they don't know who they are outside of being this partner and this parent and they get to reinvent themselves and they're overwhelmed. They don't know who they should be, who they could be, who they want to be, what they should do for fun, how to even have fun. They're struggling with this and this is an opportunity to take off their armor and to just be themselves with no pressure, no expectation, and there's no rules. They can do whatever they want. This is freedom and this is an opportunity opportunity to explore these different sides of themselves they haven't looked at maybe ever. That's another type of client. So you see, it goes way beyond just women who want photos. Now, I have multiple ideal clients because I have different reasons that people will book me for a boudoir session. And that's great because I market to each of them differently, different ad campaigns, different landing pages, blog posts, website copy. Any one of them could connect with any of them, but certain messages are geared towards certain types of clients. And when you really get to know those types of clients, it gets easier to market to them. All right, number two, charge what you're worth. This is huge. We all have money blocks. We all have imposter syndrome. None of that goes away. It just gets bigger. And by that, I mean, first, you're nervous about charging $100 for a session. Then you're nervous about charging $500, then $1,000, and then $2,000, and then $5,000. And then eventually, you're like, oh, man, can I charge $10,000 for a session? And then it happens, and you're like, oh, can I do $15? I don't know if I'm good enough for $15. And then you look back, and you're like, how was I ever nervous about $200 when I'm charging $15,000 a session now? It's crazy, right? But that's how it works. And so you just keep upping your game and you try the thing that scares you and then it works because you deliver the value. Clients love you, they're happy to pay it. And you're like, oh, I was just in my own way. And then you move past that. You're never gonna hit six figures or multiple six figures charging $200 a session, guaranteed. If you do the math on that, that's like 500 shoots a year. I don't know about you, but 500 shoots a year is ridiculous for one person. And if you're hiring other people to shoot those for you, you can't afford to hire other people at $200 a session. But charging $2,000 a session, and that's session fee plus prints and products, you're having enough money to work with that you can afford all of your legal expenses and your cost of doing business, like your product sales, rent on your studio, whatever it is you're spending money on, your insurance, 
You can eat in a nice restaurant once in a while. You can live comfortably and not worry about money. And if you don't charge what you're worth, you're never going to make it, guaranteed. And if you compete on price, you're going to fail, also guaranteed. Because the more you devalue your work, the more all of your clients or future clients will devalue your work. And then no one's going to want to book you. And you're like, but I'm only charging 200 bucks. Why is no one getting this great deal? Because if you don't value the work enough to charge appropriately for it, neither are they. Number three, develop a marketer's mindset. This is not just about marketing. This is about everything in business and life. A marketer's mindset is that of a scientist. You are experimenting and you're willing to fail because you don't know what's gonna happen. And an experiment may work one time and it might not work another time, and that's just how things work. So if I'm gonna run an ad campaign to book sessions, maybe I'll book one, maybe I'll book five, maybe I'll book 100, maybe I'll book none. I don't know until I try it. But then I'm gonna look at how everything went during the campaign. How did my ads perform? How did my landing page perform? Did my consults not convert? What was the issue? And then I work on that, I fix it, I do it again, and I do it again, and I do it again, and it gets better and better and better. And then in six months, I could try the same campaign again with all of this work I put into it, and it might book me nobody. That's just how business works. Certain things, the better you get, the more consistent they are. Certain things, no matter what you do, it's a coin flip. That's just how marketing works. So everyone out there who says Google AdWords doesn't work. Facebook ads don't work. Vendor relationships don't work. Tried it once. Of course, it didn't work because nothing ever works the first time. Almost never. And then they gave up. So you know what? Giving up doesn't work. But if you develop the marketer's mindset, you're like, okay, I've run this campaign. I've offered these things. Nobody booked me. What do I need to change to crack this code? Because it's just a puzzle. You're solving a puzzle. And the puzzle's going to change every time you do it, but you get better and better at anticipating what the pieces are going to be, and your success rate goes up. So last year, I ran one campaign. I booked 100 sessions from it. This year, I've already run three campaigns. Uh, We're at the end of January, and I've booked out a few months' worth of clients. But I'm like, wow, one campaign booked out almost my whole year last year, and I'm on three campaigns this year, and I'm only booked out for a few months. But... That's fine. I'm going to keep doing it and I'm going to get better at it. As long as I can stay booked out a few months, I'm not stressing. And then I'll get that one that books me another hundred and I'm set for another year. Having this mindset is the only thing going to keep you in the game. You have to keep experimenting because giving up is guaranteed failure. All right, number four, systematize and scale. This is super important. If you're going to do a task more than twice, create a template or a system for it. So all of my email marketing, somebody downloads a PDF off my website, whatever guide, opt-in, anything I produce, I have email sequences that are already written, that are already triggered to just go out to them. I don't have to think about that. Same thing with my sessions. Somebody books a shoot with me, they get email reminders with preparation tips. They get my prep guide. They get reminders of the time and date and address. You know, do you have any questions? Respond to this and I'm happy to help you out. They get an email the day after their shoot telling them how great they did. I wrote these once, saved the templates, they go out automatically. Did I know how to do all these in the first place? No, but over time, I added more and more automation in. And the things that I found myself doing over and over again, I created templates, I found a way to systematize it so I don't have to do it every time. The magic of that also, I can hire somebody else to come in and do this stuff for me, like most of my admin work, my editing. A lot of these things I outsource because I've created systems to make them replicable. Somebody else can come in and do it. And I have all this free time now that I can use to bring in more clients, to photograph more clients, to make more money. And if I can put an extra eight hours a week in, and that brings me an extra, say, $1,000 a week, and it costs me $500 to free up that time, I will happily spend $500 to make $1,000 if I'm putting the same number of hours in. Who wouldn't? I'm trading money for more money at that point. And that's what systems allow you to do. So once you start doing these things over and over again, you're going to realize I send out this same welcome email that I'm typing out the same responses to people asking, Hey, I'm curious about your sessions. How much are they? Rather than type out the same message, have all your templates ready to just send out, make it easy for yourself and don't spend the time reinventing the wheel. All right. Number five, and this is the thing that's going to allow you to continue doing this year after year, schedule time off. You cannot work seven days a week, 12 hours a day and expect to sustain 
you will crash. I ended up in the hospital early last year after a really bad spell of burnout. And my doctor is like, you got to take six months off. I'm like, well, I can't do that. So what is my other option? And I had to schedule days off every week and downtime. Like even yesterday, I was supposed to record this video and I didn't. I went and got a massage. I spent the day at the spa. I laid outside by the pool because in California, it's not snowing here in January. And today I am on top of my game. I am crushing it. I've already gotten paid by a couple new clients. I booked some new work. I'm making these videos, uh, drinking my coffee, relaxing. Uh, I'm still in slippers and PJ pants, despite dressing up like this in front of the camera. I am in such a good mood today because I took a day off yesterday for myself. And if you don't take time off for yourself, you're going to burn out. Guaranteed. Now, I don't have kids. I'm not married. I don't have a full-time job. But when I did have a full-time job, transitioning into being self-employed full-time, I had to be really careful with my time. Schedule work time and schedule downtime so I didn't burn out. Uh, and I definitely got burnout, out and I wore myself down and I don't want you to make that same mistake. It's it's not a badge of honor. Hustling 24-7 is like cool on Instagram, but anyone who really does it knows how painful it really is. It's not anything that anyone wants once you get to that point. So schedule your downtime, take care of yourself, sleep, drink water, go on a vacation, even if it's just a road trip for a day. Schedule some downtime. All right. So there's my four to five step framework for getting your business to multiple six figures. Know your ideal client and there's going to be more than one of them. And that's great because you market each one of them differently. Two, charge what you're worth. The more money you charge per session, the fewer clients you have to take or just the more money you make at the end of the year. And you have to charge what you're worth to stay in business. Also, charging what you're worth tells clients to value what you do. Number three, Develop a marketer's mindset. Everything, everything is an experiment, and the only thing that doesn't work is giving up. Number four, systematize and scale. If you're going to do something more than once, create a template so you don't have to do it more than once. And number five, schedule downtime. Take some time for yourself so you can continue to do the things that make you money. There you go. And if you want to know step-by-step step how to do all these things, boudoirguild.com and you can join the membership. I will walk you through every single one of them. Also, you can jump into the Facebook group, which is linked on the website, or you can just go to Facebook and type Boudoir Guild in. You will find it super easy and you can connect there. We can answer questions. I do image critiques, but this channel also full of so much great info. Guarantee you're going to find videos that help you out and make you more money. You're amazing. I'll see you inside.